welcome back to Delivered Reviewed. Please like, share and subscribe. Add a comment if you think it could be better or you enjoy the content. Maybe you want a takeaway reviewed. Thanks for watching. Before we get into the review, I just want to say a bit more on the Just Eat experience. Um, someone mentioned that I'm not really saying a great deal about it, which I agree. Um, but all in all, nine times out of ten, it's a good experience. I mean, maybe five or ten years ago, um, obviously when it first started, it was completely different. Um, but nowadays, it's pretty consistent. Um, the deliveries are fast. People are polite. The time and the app, especially uh, in terms of delivery, is is it's quick, you know, there's nothing wrong with the app. The little added features that they add each kind of month or two um, are making it better in terms of scrolling through menus and that kind of thing. And the whole process of step-by-step -step to place your order and then pay is getting a hell of a lot better. Definitely a better experience. So onto the review. Mr. Beast, you can't really say anything other than the guy's phenomenal. Um, burgers, chocolate, YouTube videos, obviously, and his merchandise. The, the menu, quite slim. Um, you know, there, there isn't many options, but the options that I had was beast style double cheeseburger with bacon, no onions, uh, tomato sauce, I think was on it, and maybe a mayonnaise on the bottom. Uh, and crinkle cut fries, just, just seasoning on them. No beast style fries. I just wanted to see what the, the basics were. I've never had these before. Um, all the merchandise kind of around it, or the branding, I should say, um, as well as obviously his merchandise, all the branding and the boxing is kind of what is making, I think, this whole experience. Again, a bit like Fat Buns, a bit like O'Hans. Um, they're buying into the, not just a, a burger, you're buying the kind of, the, the brand, I guess, as I say. Um, the burger was was excellent. I think a lot of people have slated this burger, so I don't know whether it's just again, as I think he's even commented himself, some of the outlets are better than others, so the consistency maybe isn't there. But the outlet that I bought it from, or Ghost Kitchen, whatever they're called, I think was excellent. The burgers were cooked well, not overcooked. The processed cheese, kind of the burger was moving about a bit. The bacon, as you saw, wasn't really in place. It kind of slid off to one side. And the bun being in a foil wrap was pretty much soft. But that aside, it still had really good flavor. In terms of a burger, it um, wasn't bland. The crinkle cut fries, uh, being a bit of a novelty, I understand, but they were good fries. Um, they were fluffy on the inside, crunchy on the outside with a bit of seasoning. I didn't go for Mr. Beast's uh, Beast style fries. So on that basis, good burger, I'd say eight out of 10. Thanks for watching.